Hello and welcome back. So a little while back I made a video called The Anti-Meta of Vermintide. Now, that was the most viewed video I think I've ever made on my channel. Uh, I want to make another one because I want more views. <laughs> the video was received with such mixed reviews, I think. Some people really liked it, some people got the joke. And the joke wasn't, hey, look at me use all these shitty weapons. The joke was, look at me try to mask the fact that I suck by, by using what's considered to be the worst weapons. And now believe me, I got countless comments talking about, you should be, you're able to use any weapon in the game, they're all viable, all this and that, especially on Kata, because it's not the hardest difficulty, it's just in the base game, oh, you, you, fucking yada yada. They were missing the, the point. So uh, I decided to come back and do it again and uh, see what everybody has to say about it. Uh, and now I, I wanted this not to be, hey, I'm using the worst weapons. I just wanted to create some unique classes, and I'm sure I'm not the only one creating these. I haven't YouTubed anything. This is just all based off of what I've learned in the game, you know, through game chat, people telling me what shit, what I should use, all this and that. Uh, and I, I decided to try to make some builds based on what I haven't seen. Great Hammer on Mercenary, or Crowbill on Pyro, or fucking Great Axe Hunter Veteran Melee class. Yeah, shit like that. And so, I thought it would be a lot of fun. So without further ado, let's hop into this shit. Target him! Oh! Oh! Ah. That's why I don't want to get hit. <laughs> Fucking instantly, all of my help. How am I missing? What the fuck? I can't. It's like my weapon is going through. Shit! 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 I got absolutely so. What the hell? Now at first I got something for you mercenary fellas out there. And now I've seen everybody and their fucking mom playing Bretonian Longsword on Mercenary. And let me tell you, you need to throw that shit in the trash. Cause there's a new sheriff in town and that is the Great Hammer. Dude, his passives, they give him, you know, more power for enemies being around up to 25%. Uh, the extra attack speed on his pace strikes, the tankiness that comes from his pace strikes and his ult, all of that shit comes together and it just makes the Great Hammer incredible. I played Great Hammer on Footnight forever and then I finally recently tried it on Mercenary and fell in love with it and honestly, might be his best weapon. I'm gonna be honest here. I think that shit is far superior to everything else. You take all the damage that Great Hammer has, you multiply it to where even whenever you're doing those big charged attacks, you're still doing crazy ass damage. What's not to like? Now, I'm gonna mention this real quick. We're gonna kinda haul ass through these because if I made a video showcasing all of these for the whole game, it'd be 10 hours long. And so I might go back through and throw together each individual build through its own video. But I thought that this would be kind of fun to just kind of mash them all together. So here's a little bit of a clip, but we got to move up. I hear a little assassin, but I don't know where he is. There he is. Oh, get back inside. Sorry. Damn. I can't get a good peek out. Anyway. Healing 
<laughs> Next up, this one ain't bad at all. This one's actually phenomenal, but I just didn't realize. Like, I wouldn't have thought to use it. I used it on accident in the Chaos Waste. I used one of those change your weapon up stations and it gave me just the basic bitch sword on Grail Knight. And let me tell you, he's got that passive where he does 25% more damage to the first enemy hit on top of the stacking damage bonus from just killing enemies up to three times. I think it goes up to 30. It's nuts, dude. That's 55% damage. And on top of how quickly the regular sword swings, as long as you're hitting shit in the head, you just turn into a damn lawnmower. It gets absolutely ridiculous. Now, if you paired that with the Bretonian Longsword and Shield, and then had that Temp Health on Stagger, you just kind of switch weapons, do the Shield Bash a couple times, and then switch back and go back to swinging away. Just such a phenomenal and fun build. Just fucking headless everywhere. <laughs> it may not be the best there is, but it sure is satisfying. Now right here, we have another Kruber class, and I realize now that I'm editing that I did a whole bunch of Kruber. Trust me, there's gonna be other classes. But this one, this one's kind of neat. This one has like a, a weird synergy for the Ranger class for Kruber. And uh, one thing I've noticed about him is he is so squishy. Uh, it's hard to play him because if you get hit, you're fucked at all. And so I just, there's like, well, fuck it, I want to play him. So I put on the Mason shield and it turned out like the Mason shield's best on him out of all of the Kruber classes because the one downfall of Mason shield is it's super low damage oh, shit, you. but because the ranger class gets that 50 percent bonus to headshots dude you just do the shield bash attack and you're just cracking shit in the head over and over again <laughs> so it makes up for it and uh it helps a lot with the survivability being that you have a shield and whatnot and he has that that uh talent where stagger and shit gives you your temp health and so, if you get hit at all, just go invis, do a shield bash or two, and then go back to beating the shit out of everything. It's just, it's such a weird synergy that I wouldn't have thought of. Unless you just got tired of getting one shot. <laughs> so, here's this one. Shit, am I out? I'm out of ammo. I need ammo. We are at Guard my Here we have Zealot. Zealot, I know it's not the greatest class, but it is a lot of fun, and I think it's probably one of the more new player friendly classes. And it's one that I go to whenever I'm just trying to chill and relax. I'm not trying to try hard or nothing, I'm just trying to sit here and left click. And so to aid me in this endeavor, we're gonna pick up the Greatsword. Which is really, it's not that good of a weapon. I mean, it's not that it's bad, it just gets outclassed by most of the other weapons for him. But, with all of his, his attack speed and the headshots and all this 
fucking stuff. Cool. It's just satisfying to swing that fucking thing and watch like 12 heads pop off at a time. Especially whenever you're zealot and you're just swinging like there ain't no tomorrow. So this one's not that crazy, but it is fun. And so I thought it deserved an honorable mention at least. Got it. It's like one thing to be good at dealing with words, but it's a whole other one to just like that's where your guy specializes. Oh god. Okay, I got this cleared. Now for my favorite Pyro or er, uh, Sienna class, that would be Pyromancer. And I don't know what it is about Pyromancer that's got me hooked. Because I know everybody and their mom loves the Battle Wizard, and then hell, they even just came out with Necro. And that is a fun class. But Pyro is just something special. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the mix of melee and range. Uh, maybe it's the fact that to play her effectively, or to her highest potential, you have to play risky, be like teetering on the edge of blowing yourself up, but I, I like her a lot. And then one of my favorite combos, I have three in particular. I'm only going to show one right here, but I'll mention the other two. Uh, right here we have the Crowbill, and the Crowbill is not a super good weapon. Uh, it does a ton of damage, it's just lacking cleave. I really think that's all it really is missing, is just the ability to get through multiple enemies. Uh, and then the new Scythe weapon, that one's pretty good. It has a really good uh, AoE attack for its special, but the best one that I've found so far for her is definitely the Mace. The Mace fucking tear shit up in the uh, on pyro you get that attack speed stacked up and you just start swinging that son of a bitch like you wouldn't believe so yeah here she is This is going way better than I could have hoped. <laughs> Is he still alive? Stop it. Oh shit. Sorry, I wasn't trying to light you on fire. Dragonhead! Oh no! Come on, man. Oh, you shitting me, dude. For real? Now, last but not least, at least for this video, we have probably my favorite build that I've made ever. And it's such a, it's so gimmicky, 
It's Ranger Veteran oh with God. Great Axe and the Throwing Axes, and it Jesus. plays around his talent where when he's out of ammo, he gains 25% power. And the whole gimmick is, is at the beginning of the round, you throw all your axes on the floor, and then you permanently have that 25% damage bonus. But if at any point you need range for a special or something, you just pull one of your axes back, throw it, kill the special, and then you get rid of your axes again, and go back to beating ass with the great axe. It's so simple. I haven't seen a single other person in my lobbies using this, and it was just like, ah, oh, I wonder how well that'll work, and it turns out it fucking works excellently. By far one of the most fun builds I've made in recent memory. I shit you not, like, Dorf is literally becoming one of my favorite classes because of this single build right here. God, I can't even see So, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe so if you didn't, then don't. Either the way it goes, though, have yourself Every a very day. fine day. Ow! Face is itchy.